All right, you guys, I just added some Tyson grilled chicken. I also added some leaf spinach. And you know what? I would have done real spinach if the grocery store here where I live um, was not completely out and I was running out on time. So I'm going to fill this up with some of my chicken broth. I'm going to do about half just so I could use the last residue um, of this. I'm not wasting any product. I'm going to go ahead and get my lid. And if you guys don't do this, you guys will know that this actually really combines um, or doesn't waste any product and it's more of a um, creamier taste. Next up, I'm going to add some mixed vegetables. All right, and I'm going to just mix everything. Getting everything nice and mixed up. Get that spinach with our corn, carrots, and green beans. We're going to make sure that all the flavors come together. Now I'm going to use the last of my minced garlic. Literally, y'all, I use minced garlic with everything. Now my neighbor Yvonne, she's going to have to get some more. Alright, Tony's, listen. Tony's, I just, I just love this. It's just amazing, y'all. And then, for anyone who doesn't know, which is the chicken powder. Y'all, this chicken powder really um, has a full hit of flavor. Now, I, I just move so fast and I know how to season. I'm about to do two tablespoons for everyone uh, who is wondering how much tablespoons would you put in. All right, and then I'm going to do some Mexican cheese. Now you could do any cheese that you would like. I'm just going to go ahead and use the Mexican cheese. Um, I'm going to use right now half a cup just so things can stick. Now I'm going to mix everything. That's our flavor. Mm. This is going to be something that you can leave while you're at work. Well, um, y'all are going to go to in shape or go to the swimming pool and swim, have a family day. And when you come back, y'all can eat and enjoy. I mean, one of the best memories in life is probably when you were eating or surrounded by family. All right. Go ahead. Oh, no, let me tell you, I've been doing this for so many years that every time that thing still opens, it scares me. It it, it it just does something, okay? We're gonna really snap, sn make sure that these are snug so we cover the entire lid, hopefully. Now this is definitely an alternate version um, for chicken pot pie. Not, all, not everyone likes um, the cream of chicken. So I'm going to show people options of what they can do. Um, so that's why I went ahead and I used an Alfredo today. Ooh, yes, baby. Now, I'm going to add for some color, some black pepper, just on the top. So when that dough rises... That black pepper will be embedded on top. All right, so I'm not going to lie. I don't know where my lid's at, but I'm going to put a lid on top of this bad boy. We're going to cook this on high for about three, three and a half hours, and I just cannot wait to show you guys. And if you guys want to put it on low, you could do that. That will be a good six hour, um, six to eight hours while you're at work. So I'm going to find a lid. Because I don't know where it went, but I'll see you guys when this is fully completed and cooked. All right, all right. Now, just from seeing on the inside, I'm super, like, excited and just really proud. Let's go, let's go. 
Oh my goodness. This cooks perfectly. Okay, I have my little plate. I have a spoon, but first I need a spoon. So let's just go for... It's not super hard, obviously, because it's um, really captivated in the moisture. This just looks good. That spinach, the chicken, the bread. Mm. So I gotta blow on it because it's gonna be hot. Oh, that was exactly what I expected. Hot. But the flavor is hidden. Flavor is on point. It is really smacking delicious. You guys, that spinach and that Alfredo sauce really makes it so well together. And obviously, obviously, the vegetables. You need the vegetables. This is fully cooked. The chicken, everything. The biscuits. I cannot be more um, happy. Of course, it's soft. You were expecting it to be hard biscuits no it's really encapsulated and there's steam and that's how it's going to cook so you guys go and make this for your family because this bread even you can pick it apart and just dip it too whatever um but the chicken is in there um just go ahead and um make this for your family 